Akrita Sanskrit, Akrita literally means, free from anger. It is considered an important virtue in Indian philosophy. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Akrita is a fusion word a, a without, non, and krodha, krodha anger, or without anger. A related word is akrita Sanskrit, akrita smiley face, which also means absence of anger. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion Akrita is considered a virtue and desirable ethical value in Hinduism. When there is cause of getting angry but even then there is absence of anger, it is non-anger or akrita. Absence of anger akrita means being calm even when insulted, rebuked or despite great provocation. Akrita does not mean absence of causes of anger, it means not getting angry and keeping an even, calm temper despite the circumstances. Krodha anger is excessive mental turmoil on account of the obstacles in the gratification of some desire, it is manifestation of the quality of tamas dark, negative, destructive, an undesirable psychological state. The opposite of krodha is akrita, and this is a productive, positive and constructive state. Bawak states that akrita is necessary to any process of peace. Peace and happiness is a state of contentment santusta, where there is absence of spite or envy advesta, absence of anger akrita, and absence of violence ahimsa. Dharma relies on akrita, because it creates an environment of serenity, a rational principle of life, and because it is a moral virtue inspired by love. Literature According to Vedic sages, when work becomes akin to a yajna a worship ceremony, the effect of that work is transformed into a purva, that is, it becomes something unique, unprecedented and empowering. In contrast, anger clouds reason, which results in the loss of discrimination between right and wrong and virtue and vice. When the discriminating faculty is ruined, the person loses self-identity and the inner good perishes. With freedom from anger, a person reaches an aperva state. The Upanishads Narada Paravrajaka Upanishad states the nature of akrita for a person who seeks self-knowledge and liberation as follows all cruel words should be endured. None should be treated with disrespect. No anger should be directed in turn towards one who is angry. Only soft words should be spoken, even when violently pulled by another. Akrita, states Manikam, is related to the concept Sahya Sanskrit, Sahya in the Upanishads. Sahya means, depending on the context, to bear, endure, suffer, and put up with. The quality to sahya is considered an ethical value in Hinduism, not out of weakness to react, but for the cause of the ultimate truth. It is the attribute by which a person willingly bears negative cognitive inputs in order to win over the opponent or whatever is offensive, in the pursuit of holding on to truth, in order to achieve oneness with Brahman, the ultimate truth. This endurance, this strive to overcome the adversaries, through akrita and ahimsa, is recommended as the constructive way in one's pursuit of truth. The epics The Hindu epic Mahabharata repeatedly emphasizes the virtue of akrita. For example, in Adi Parva, it states, If wronged, you should not wrong in return. One's anger, if not subdued, burns one's own self, if subdued, it procures the virtues of the doers of good acts. You should never give pain to others by cruel words. Never defeat your enemies by despicable means. Never utter sinful and burning words as may give pain to others. In Vanapava, the Mahabharata states, Anger is in this world, the root of the destruction of mankind. The angry man commits a sin, the angry man murders his preceptor, the angry man insults with harsh words. The angry man cannot distinguish what should be and should not be said by him, there is nothing which cannot be said or done by an angry man. From anger, a man may kill one who should not be killed and adore one that should be slain, an angry man may even dispatch his own self to the abode of Yama. Beholding these evils, anger must be conquered. 
In Shantipava, the Mahabharata states, that yogin who is freed from attachment and pride, who transcends all pairs of opposites such as pleasure and pain, who never gives way to wrath or hate, who never speaks an untruth, who though slandered or struck still shows friendship for the slanderer or the striker, who never thinks of doing ill to others, who restrains these three, viz. speech, acts and mind, and who behaves uniformly towards all creatures, succeeds in approaching Brahman true self. The Bhagavad Gita in the Mahabharata, gives a list of 26 divine attributes beginning with Abhyam fearlessness and Sattva Sansadi purity of mind, ending with Adroa bearing enmity to none and Natimanita absence of arrogance. Abhyam Sattva Sansadijnanyogavyavasthiti Danam Damaska Yajnaska Svadhyayastapa Arjavamahinsa Satyamakrodhastayaga Santirapaisanam Daya Bhutsvalaluptvam Madhavam Hirakapalam Tija Kasama Dirti Sorkamadroho Natamanita Bhavanti Sampadam Divamapijatasya Bharata Akrada is one of the 26 divine attributes a person can have, states Bhagavad Gita. Dharmasastra <laughs> <laughs> Manu has listed akrida absence of anger among the ten primary virtues. The Apastamhadama Sutra rules that a student be not given to anger, and that a householder is required to abstain from anger and abstain from action or words that would provoke someone else to anger the Baudhyanadharma Sutra I, XV requires a householder never to be angry, and the Gautamdharma Sutra advises that he must not feel angry. The Vashisthadharma Sutra IV avers that refraining from anger is a virtue like truthfulness, charity among others. Manu mentions ten Dharma Lakshanas. Akrita is one of these Lakshana attribute, sign of a Dharmic person. The other nine are driti patience, k sharma forgiveness, dhamma temperance, asteya non-stealing, shorcham purity, indriyagraha freedom from sensual craving, dhi reason, vidya knowledge, and satyam truth. Topic: <laughs> Shaivism. The Shaivite doctrine considers four yamas for the Pashupata ascetic who smears on his body basam. The four yamas are non injury, celibacy, truthfulness, and non stealing. The niyamas consist of non irritability, akrita, attendance on the teachers, purity, lightness of diet, and carefulness. Akrita is a virtue. <laughs> Universalism Hinduism and Buddhism both suggest ten freedoms needed for good life. These are, ahimsa freedom from violence, asteya freedom from want, stealing, aparigraha freedom from exploitation, amritava freedom from early death, and arogya freedom from disease, akrita freedom of anger, jnana or vidya freedom from ignorance, prifti freedom of conscience, abhaya freedom from fear and dhrti freedom from frustration and despair. See also Ahimsa Satya Asteya Brahmacharya Kasama Dirti Daya Matahara Arjava Shorsha Dana